myocarditis. He's being admitted for right kidney transplantation. The donated, ki the donated kidney is a matched kidney from a non-related individual. The patient was taken to the OR and placed on the table in the supine position. The patient was given general anesthesia and the abdominal area was prepped and draped in the usual fashion. A catheter was then placed in the bladder. An incision was made in the blank of the patient's abdomen. The donor kidney was placed in the lower right side of the abdomen, above the pelvic bone and below the existing non-functioning right kidney. The kidney artery and vein of the donor kidney was connected to the patient's bladder. The patient's non-functioning right kidney was left in place. The patient tolerated the procedure and was sent to the recovery room in stable condition. Okay, so what's the first thing I always tell you guys to do? To read it once and then go back a second time and determine, okay, what did we do? What, what was the intent of this procedure? What did the surgeon complete by doing this procedure? Okay, so read it once, then go back a second time and ask yourself that, answering that question. So our procedure was what? What did they complete by doing this? Hopefully you guys are saying transplantation, right? Because that's what we did. We look at the definition of transplantation. It is putting in or all on all or a portion of a living body part taken from another individual or animal to physically take the place and or function of all or a portion of a similar body part. So that's what we're doing, right? We're taking one kidney and putting it in another person. So if we go to transplantation in our index, we're going to go to the front of our PCF codebook to T, look up transplantation. And then what did we transplant? Remember you go to what they did, the root operation, and then where they did it is the body part. So we're gonna look up transplantation and then they did it where? They did it on the kidney, right? The patient admitted for right kidney transplantation. So we're going to go to kidney, which I'm on page 120. And then under kidney, we see left or right. So again, you go back to your op report, and ours was the right kidney. It says in the second sentence, the patient is being admitted for right kidney transplantation. So on page 120, under transplantation, kidney, and then right, we see the code characters 0, the number 0, then TY, and then the numbers 0, 0 again, and Z. So that gives us six characters right there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we just have to find one more character, the seventh character, to complete our code. Because remember, all PCS codes are going to have seven characters. So our our table is always the first three characters we're given. So our table is 0TY. So we're going to flip the table 0TY, which is on page 608. So we were told our characters are 0TY, 00Z. So now we just have to pick our seventh character, which we can pick a 0, a 1, or a 2. So what do you guys think? 0 is allogenic, 1 is cynogenic, and 2 is zooplastic. Again, if you weren't sure what these definitions are for each of those terms, you would look them up. But allogenic is from another human, right, another person. Synogenic is synthetic. And then zooplastic is from an animal. So we're going to pick zero because we know it came from a non-related individual. So it came from another human. So 
we're picking zero O for allergenic. So our code is going to be zero T Y zero zero Z zero. Do you guys have any questions about that one?